traps are being set for you in the form of harmless seeming conversations. It's a must. You be careful and don't take the bait. Traps are being set for you in the form of harmless seeming conversations. People will try to drag you in to talking about other people. So it's a must that you be careful. You never know who may try and do this to you. The best thing you could do is to just keep your opinions about other people to yourself. When there are certain people who are out to get you or to destroy you for whatever reason, you have to be on your P's and Q's because the things that you say could cause a problem for yourself. And people will try to trap you up by getting you to talk about various things and various topics. So you have to be careful of what you say and who you talk about. When people are talking about someone else, never give an opinion. Never give a person an opinion about how you feel about another person especially if you don't know this person too close, if this isn't one of your day ones, if this isn't someone that you've, you know, been through thick and thin with, even if this is someone that you know up close and personal, if you consider yourself targeted in any way or if you deal with any narcissistic people or energy vampires or anything like that or anyone that has dealt with any kind of stalkish behavior from people or if you resonate on any level with anything I've ever said in any of my videos make sure that you keep your opinions about other people to yourself you may be saying someone does something good you may be saying someone does something bad but the best thing for you to do is to not talk about people at all someone asks you about a specific person don't mention anything about them because what they'll do is they'll take a mole and turn it into a a mole hill and turn it into a mountain and a lot of people will rephrase what you say and reword what you say and a lot of people will take what you say and change it into something that won't sound so pleasing to the person that you're talking about And also, they might even go as far as telling you that this person is talking about you or doing you some kind of wrong or doing you some kind of bad. This is a very sick and diabolical trait for a person to have. It's not good for a person to spread false witness or lies or rumors amongst people, especially, you know, brothers or family or co-workers to try and see something negative happen. And a lot of people will do this. Your friends will do this. People who you go to school with will do this. Some of your childhood friends will do this. They will get you into a situation to where you're talking about other people, and then they'll go back and relay the message. So you must be very careful, depending on the type of person that you are, because there are some people who won't keep it to themselves when you're simply voicing your opinion or even if you are unawarely saying how you feel about someone. Or you may just be as if you were, you know, when you were a kid, when I was a kid, I didn't know any better. And, you know, there were certain people that I had issues with that were troublesome in my life. And people would ask me how I felt about them. And when people ask you about how you feel about someone who's trying to, you know, mess with you or bother you, you're going to give your honest opinion. So it's a must that you be careful when you're speaking to specific people about certain things, because what they'll 
they'll do is they will, without a doubt, go back and either tell someone what you said or they'll put it in a way to where now this person thinks you're talking about them. And a lot of people will also, they like, they'll lie and say something that you didn't even say. All right. People, people won't only twist what you say, but they'll lie and they'll, <clears throat> they'll lie. And they said, you said something that you didn't even say. And that's the worst thing that you could go through with other people when they're lying on you and they're saying that you did something or you said something that you didn't. All right. No one wants to be in a situation where someone's looking at them for something that they didn't do. Now you have people who are angry at you, people who are mad at you, people who are looking at you like you're the worst person that you could possibly be. All because you said something to them and now they went and rephrased it and reworded it to the person that you were talking about. And now they have this person thinking that, you know, you were talking about them when you weren't. So people will try to do that because they want other people to not like you. All right. They might see that you have a potential to gain a lot of friends. They might see you have the potential to be more popular than them. When you are in a group of people who are threatened by your presence and they're trying to have more friends than you or be more popular than you, they have to try to sabotage you in some kind of way. And what they're going to do is they're going to find something that will be a, a point of separation between you and others. All right. So what they're going to do is they're going to find something that they can use to get other people to look at you different, to look at you like you're unlikable, to look at you like you don't like other people or to look at you like you're a problem or like you're some type of bad person. And when they can trick other people into feeling this way about you, then they win because you're not liked by other people. But what people don't realize is this person always would have to go around saying something about you, keeping your name in their mouth. All right. Always talking about you 24 seven. All right. So these people, in a sense, are always going to be talking about you or talking about someone. And the thing is, when they get around you, they're most likely always talking about someone else. All right. And, and, and that's a sign that someone is most likely always talking about you. All right. When someone gets around you and they're just bad mouthing another person and this person isn't even there to speak for themselves, when you're not there, they're doing the same thing. But when you're around them, the reason why they're possibly doing it about someone else is because you're in their presence and they can't directly speak about you like they would want to. All right. But they do want to cause trouble and they do want to try to trap you into a conversation talking about another person. All right, so that way they can go back and cause separation, cause so discord, create a problem between you and someone else because they have a little boy-like mentality. They have a little girl-like mentality and they want to see people fight, fuss, and argue and bicker back and forth between themselves. All right, so do not take the bait. All right, don't allow these people to try and trap you in these little uh, meaningless conversations, all right? And they know it's they know how to do it because they're triggering you. And it's usually about someone that they see you have a slight issue with or you have a problem with or someone that you may have made some type of facial expression against. All right. They're, they're, they're constantly watching you and taking note of your every move. All right, because they, they, they are trying to see how they can use the things that you do, the things that you say, your moves against you. It's very manipulative, but it's how they operate because they, they don't have and they don't operate any other way. They don't know how to operate in the spirit of truth. So they operate in the spirit of deception. And that's why they have to set traps for you and try to turn people against you and make other people think that you're not a good person. All right. This is by design. They do this because there's something that people like about you, some quality that you possess that draws people to you. And they're jealous because they don't have these qualities. So what they'll do is they have to go to other people and spread lies and spread rumors. All right. You're most likely a likable person. And it's nothing but on a deeper level, it's the devil using them to try to 
take them away from the God in you. All right, the devil is using this person so people don't get closer to God, so people don't get closer to a higher power, so people don't get close to better energy, so people don't get close to, you know, the better version of themselves. Because if people stay around you, hang around you, if people become around you, they're going to get better. Everybody that is in your presence that's ever been in your company has been made better. Face it, it's time to keep it real with yourself and not lie to yourself. You make people better just by them being around you, just by them being in your presence, just by them getting a whiff of your positive energy. They want to go do positive things. And that's the beauty of it. That's how God, that's what God put you, that's what God put it in you for. So that way, when certain people get around other people, that something else will come out of them. So they'll transform into, in, into something bigger, something better, something greater. But the, the dark forces that be, the dark powers don't like that spark in you. All right. So they they have to come and they try have to try to get as many people to separate themselves from you as possible. So that way you don't reach that many people. All right. So that way you don't wake that many people up. So that way people, that many people aren't affected by you and the presence and power in you that they're supposed to be. All right, you're supposed to be out here reaching people and you're supposed to be out here having people uh, experience that power within themselves by seeing it on yourself. When people see that energy on you, they start to recognize the energy that's within in themselves and, and the power that they have within. That's why they set traps for you. That's too much power for a person to have. And the fact that you're able to, to manifest things, the fact that you're able to reach people, the fact that you're able to make that connection, they're afraid that you'll have a, a total takeover. And they know that you're going to affect other people greatly, far more greatly than they could. And they don't want that to take place. All right, they don't they don't want you to be able to reach people like you're supposed to, but that's what you're supposed to do. So since they're attacking you this way, it's a clear sign that they don't want you reaching people like you should. So they have to try to trap you in these conversations and they want people to think that you're a busybody. They want people to think that you're all up in everybody's business, that you're a gossiper, that you talk about people behind their back. When meanwhile, these are the people who are, are starting all of this. These are the people who are taking one thing that you say and taking it and twisting it and turning it into something so horrific that now people don't even want anything to do with you. This person is pathetic and they should be ashamed of themselves. So don't take the bait when people try to have discussions with you, when people try to talk to you, be careful of who you talk to and be careful of what you say. When people try to talk to you about other people, don't say anything about them. All right. When, when people try to talk to you about other people, don't say anything about them, about uh, uh, how you feel about them, about what you think about them. Don't say nothing. Because they're going to take that information and, and they're going to weave a web and create a story. And they're going to use it to turn others against you. All right, it's happened to me several times. People will take what you say, will, will take what you think about a boss or take what you think about an employee or ask you something and make you think that y'all are cool. You have to be careful of people that you just met that are trying to be so buddy-buddy with you. You have to be careful of people who are trying to, to get your opinion on things and see how you feel about things. Don't think you can just have a conversation with someone. Don't think you can just talk to someone. Or don't think these people have your back or they're just like you or they're as good as you or they have good intentions for you because some of them don't. And some of them will take what you say and twist your words and turn everyone against you. So that way you have no one in your corner. All right, they want to try to divide everybody away from you so that way they can watch you suffer all on an island by yourself. So make sure that you don't take the bait. It's not that important to talk to people. Don't run your mouth about people. All right, some people are doing this on purpose to specifically separate people. Certain family members, certain friends, certain neighbors certain co-workers there are people who know better than to do this but they do it anyway 
there are people that know better than to do this, but they still do it. And they know they shouldn't be doing it. They know this is something that's not good to do. All right, they they know this is a, a bad thing to do to a person. I hope y'all are still with me. It's, it's a little darker than usual, you know, and I, I'm, a, I'm a little bit darker than usual, but that's okay, all right? Stick with me, you know? All right? But it's it 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 it, it never ceases to exist that there will be people who will try and say things that never even came out your mouth all because it makes them feel better about who they are as a person and stopping you is a part of their agenda stopping people from liking you so that way you don't get any connections there are people who want to link with you people who want to get to know you but there are certain individuals out there that are stopping them in their tracks and, and making you seem like a person that they wouldn't want to get to know all because they want to do certain things with you that they wouldn't want to do with them. All right. There are people who want to, to treat you right. There are people who want to take you out. There are people who want to do good things for you. All right. There are people who God's trying to bring into your life. And then, and then you have people who don't want to see good things take place in your life because they're, they're low key hating from a distance. And they're mad and jealous when they see you live the life that God intended for you. Because the things that happen for you are different than the things that happen for them. And they're mad and upset about it. So what they'll try to do is, yo, they will get you caught up in a conversation if you let them. They'll get you talking about a person. They'll get you talking about your job. They'll get you talking about a place. All right. And now that like they will they will run back and tell the other person they'll run back and tell them so that's not good that's not a positive thing that's not something that you want happening so make sure that you're extremely careful all right about the people that you talk about even if they're doing you wrong even if they're doing you wrong don't say anything about them or right, even if this person is the worst person in the entire world if somebody asks you about them don't give your opinion this, this person could be one of the most evil people in the world. Don't give your opinion on them. Keep your opinion about other people to yourself. It's going to show you to be a very honorable person. It's going to show a level of trust within you that people can say things to you and don't have to worry about it being spread. Shouldn't be spreading things anyway or saying things about people in the first place. But this is just what that does. And that's what that's the type of person that you want to be. All right. And people will see that you're real. People will see that you're solid and they're trying to get you to be like them. They're usually a busybody. They're usually someone who will talk about other people and they want you to be a, a busybody talking, uh, talkative gossip, just like them. And got to gossip is a sin. It's a sin to, to talk about other people behind their back. So that's a spirit on that person that is doing that, that is talking to you about other people, trying to get you to talk about other people, trying to get you to open your mouth about certain things that come back and harm you. And you don't even know why or how, because it's something that you said and, and somebody is, is, is running back and telling some, the person that you just said it, setting you up purposefully. But I mean, that's all types of, uh, of wrongdoing because they know you have a problem with this person. They know you don't like this person. So it, it seems to be that in these cases, there are more than they're teaming up against you. But even if they're teaming up against you, you're still going to come out on top. Or you're still going to be a lot better off than them still, even if they're coming up against you. Because they're not really built like that and they're not powerful like that. God put that strength in you. They're trying to mimic the, the amount of strength that they see in you coming up against you in twos and threes and fours. They gotta come against they gotta come against you in a group. They need they need one person to treat you bad. Then they need another person to come ask you about it. Then they need you to then they need you to hang yourself. So they just they giving you the rope to just hang yourself. When you engage in these conversations about plants and agents that they purposely set in your life to cause destruction to cause you know to sow discord still don't even say anything because it's it's not their opinion how you feel anyway it's not their opinion how you feel anyway and when you tell them what's on your mind it's gonna they're gonna use that against you because they're weak 
individuals and they're not they're not that strong they're not built like that they're soft so they have to try to set a trap for you because they're soft they have to try to set a trap for you because they're truly weak they have to try to set a trap for you because you're too strong you're stronger than they are you're better than they are are right, you're you're built bigger than they are spiritually and mentally they can't compete with you on any level so they have to try to they have to try to set traps for you all right any way they can, but this person in particular is using it in the form of conversation. Do not answer people when they try to ask you about other people. Well, what do you think about this one? Or what do you think about that one? All right, don't don't engage in that. Keep your mouth closed when it comes to talking about other people, especially when they're not there to defend themselves. Don't get caught up in gossip. Don't get caught up in slander. Don't get caught up in speaking about someone else when they're not there to defend themselves. That's a, a, a weak man's game. That's that's a, a, a weak man's game that you don't want to play. And you're not weak. You got to be strong to not talk about other people. It's not easy. You know, sometimes you, you, you want to get in on that. You have to hold back your tongue. Life and death is in the tongue. You got to kill that spirit. That, that, that wants you to talk about somebody else. You got to kill that spirit that makes you think it's okay to talk about someone behind their back. Talk about someone when they're not there to speak up for, for, for themselves. You got to kill that spirit. That's the spirit that you don't want to live in you, so it has to die. You got to ask God to help you kill that spirit. When people try to talk to you about someone else, zip your lips. Keep your mouth shut. Silence is golden. Don't say nothing. Make it an end of discussion. As soon as they start talking about somebody else, hey, I got to go. As soon as they start talking about somebody else, hey, you know, change the subject, change the conversation. Start talking about something different because you, know, you never know what opportunity you'll lose. You never know who will stop working with you, who will stop working for you, what, I, what, what, what good things won't come your way. All because this person got, got you to open your mouth and you had something to say. And they're, they're that devious or they are that evil that they'll go back and try to mess it up for you. You know, they said this, you know, they said that they don't have anything else better to do. Don't, don't, don't we know that by now? I think, I think so. I think so. I strongly think so that we know they don't have anything else better to do by now. They don't have nothing else better to do. Nothing, 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 nothing else better to do. That was from that Preacher's Wife movie when they were singing it. And nothing, nothing, nothing. They ain't got nothing else better to do. Except spread lies and rumors about you. Hope you all like this midnight story time. Alright, just listen to the sound of my voice. You already know what I look like. It's getting real out here. I had, I, had to, I had to do it in this type of environment. I'm feeling on the energy of the, of the, of, of the evening. All right, these, these traps that have been set for us in the form of harmless conversation, these people have just talked themselves up into something terrible. They have just talked themselves up into something that have has sealed a fate for them. All right, they have now taken on the spirit of gossiping, the, the spirit of a tailbearer. It's not good to talk about other people, and you know it's not because it doesn't feel good after you do it. So anybody trying to get you to participate in this, this, this player hateism of talking about other people behind their back, God help you. All right, do not take part in that. It's not good for your spirit. It makes you heavy. It makes you tired. Causes you to be jealous of others. All right. Make sure you pray and ask God to help you avoid the traps that are set for you. Ask God to show you the people who are setting traps in your life and ask him to help you uh, avoid the traps that are being set for you in life.
because if people are are doing these types of activities, trying to get you to talk about other people, you know that they're telling them and spreading it and it's causing problems for you, creating unnecessary drama for your life that you don't even need. Especially as a man. If you're a man and watching my videos, we you know, we definitely should not be taking part in that. That ain't good for us at all. But ladies, that ain't good for y'all neither. It's not good for anybody. But a man should definitely not be taking part in no gossip, man. Even if you just, you know, hey, you heard what happened to him? Don't even take part in that, bro. Don't even take part in that. You're better than that. Keep closed lips on that. Keep a sealed mouth on that. You know, don't, don't, don't talk, don't, it's not good to talk about other people. I don't care the circumstances. Don't allow other people to make you do it. It, it makes your spirit heavy and it, it, uh, it, um, it, it, uh, destroys your character. All right. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash the like button, smash the share button. I'll see you in the next one. We out. Shout out to all the real people who rocked out with me despite the light. Peace. Put a light in the comment section if you're still here. All right.